Hello everyone, welcome back to the Good Life Warrior channel. I hope your day is going well. There's so much uncertainties surrounding with the economy. Am I going to be able to keep my job, continue to pay for the rent? If you are running an Amazon FBA business, you might be wondering, how am I going to be able to keep my business together and carry on into the new year 2023. Well, talking about the Amazon FBA business, what exactly is going on with the shippers and free forwarders? There's so much fear and challenges. And recently I'm getting texts from multiple people I know in China telling me that some of the free forwarders are filing bankruptcy. This is very alarming news because if the freight forwarder fell in bankruptcy, it's going to affect many, many Amazon FBA sellers. This is why I'm making this video for you to warn you what's going on and to help you watch out and protect yourself. If you're new to this channel, welcome and nice to meet you. My name is Yuping Wang. I'm the founder of Sourcing Warrior. If you want to learn more about my background, my experience, go ahead, visit thesourcingwarrior.com. You will find more information about me. Now let's back to the situation where some of the free forwarders are filing bankruptcy. Well, this is alarming, but how exactly a free forwarder's business being affected by the economy? Here is the simple math. When the economy cools down, consumers like myself and you will be very careful in buying what we need, not everything we want, right? And this is the contraction. This contraction caused the business to buy less because they don't have that many customers want to buy product from them. Now, their contraction will cause the factories to produce less. Think about the freight forwarders. They're standing on the sideline, moving the product from point A to point B for us to consume. Less product means less business for the freight forwarders. Let's be clear, just because the economy is cooling down, it doesn't mean all the freight forwarders will go bankrupt. Who has higher risk in filing bankruptcy? Well, the first one are the one who doesn't have the financial backing. If you ask these forwarders, most likely they're going to tell you they don't have their own warehouse. They are speculators in the market when the market is good. They make a quick profit when the market is not good. They disappear. They fell bankruptcy. They close their door. Second type are the ones who doesn't have a loyal customer base. They have been around why they don't have a loyal customer base. Well, because they haven't provide good services. They overcharge the customer. Sometimes they add the hidden fees back to the quoted price. And therefore they created a huge dissatisfaction with their service. During the difficult time, guess what? The customer is going to leave them and causing them to fail bankruptcy. Now, as the Amazon FBA seller, what warning signs you should be watching for to protect your money. I'm going to give you two tips to help you out. The first one is to watch out for the low ballers, the one who give you such a great quote, making you feel like I'm saving so much money. I must go with this free forwarder. Not that simple. Have you ever heard about this saying, desperate times calls for a desperate measure. When a freight forwarder in a desperate financial situation, their cash is so tight, they have to lowball this customer just to get your money first in order to pay for other bills. This is a vicious circle of a musical chair. Whoever end up on the last chair, you're going to lose all the money to this freight forwarder because their business cannot keep going like this. The truth is, even if this freight forwarder doesn't go into bankruptcy, if they lowball you, they can still get your money back. How do they do that? Well, they can charge you extra pickup fees. They can charge you extra warehouse fees, even though your product just touched their warehouse. They can quote you to West Coast USA, even though your product need to be delivered to the East Coast. What happens is if you drop your product into the West Coast warehouse, like Ontario, Amazon will charge you extra distribution cost. This make the free folder look like, oh, it's none of my problem. In fact, it's their problem because they should have give you an honest quote directly to East Coast instead of cheat you into West Coast and then you pay extra fees later. 
And the worst is when they co-mingle your product with dangerous products. Dangerous products need to go through estuary inspection, estuary examination by the custom. If your product is co-mingled in a container with dangerous product, guess what? Your product will be delayed for a long time. And this is how the freight folders can lowball you to commingle with dangerous product because they charge a lot more for dangerous product. There's so many different tricks that a lowball free folder can do to get your money back. The second tip is to find the social proof for this particular free folder you're going to use. Join a Facebook group, make a post, ask about the feedback. What other customers are saying about this free folder? Has anyone used this free folder? How's their service? Are they very transparent with their rate? Are they very accurate with their communication. If you want to know where your shipment is, they should be very quick in telling you exactly where your shipment is. There shouldn't be anything that is hidden and keep you in the dark, right? That is not a great freight forwarder service. In Sourcing Warriors Facebook group, there is a freight forwarder I personally recommend it. Feel free to join Sourcing Warriors Facebook group or download the link in the video description to get their contact. Well, that's today's freight forwarder tip. Make sure you watch out for the low ballers. Don't get cheated and make sure you find social proof for the freight forwarder you want to use. Well, guess what? Next week, next week is going to be Black Friday. Black Friday means Black Friday deals. This is going to be the most exciting Black Friday deal because I'm going to throw in the negotiation masterclass all for free. I just want you to have a, a good plan to have an amazing year 2023. We're going to grow together, laugh together and celebrate together. I'll see you next week.